Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're gonna take a look at using Ornatrix to set up uh, root to tip coloring, as well as root to tip control over things like curling or render settings. Now you can see I have just this uh, simple hair set up here, and it's created with just a guides from surface, uh, a little bit of grooming with edit guides, some strand curling, strand length, and then hair from guides as well as render settings. So basically I'm looking to have a material color this hair uh, from root to tip. And in order to do that, we're just gonna hop into the material editor. You can see the color render that I get here. Uh, we're using the Ornatrix hair shader. And when I go into uh, a hair color, I can just go and add a gradient ramp. Now inside the gradient ramp, I'm going to uh, set up a couple of colors. So let's go here and let's set up some really distinct colors. I'd like to maybe just choose a green and maybe a red so that I have something really distinct. And a lot of times when I'm setting these up, I'll choose the solid color so it's very, very clear exactly what's happening. If I click on render here, what's gonna happen is about half the hair is going to be rendered. And that's because we're using UV coordinates, okay? This means that it's getting its UV coordinates if I just unhide from this plane right here. So we can see if we apply this to the plane and go back and we'll turn on show map and viewport. Well, down here it's gonna be red and up here where it's emitted is going to be green. And this is great for a lot of different instances. But what we wanna do is instead of using those UVs, we wanna use the root to tip, which is going to be using the W coordinates. So when I go in here, hide this, what I want to choose is WU. So when I click on WU, the preview will be a little bit weird because Max has a problem displaying the W coordinates here. But when I render it out, you'll see that we'll get a nice root to tip setup. And I can push this in whatever direction I want. So go in here render it out like so, and I can set uh, whatever colors I want. And of course, if I don't want this to be solid anymore and just have a linear gradient, then I can have that linear gradient there and you can see it's fading to white. One thing I'm gonna do is uh, let's just set this final color to a blue. So we can kind of render that out and you'll see that the tips will be blue. Um, I wanna look at one scenario here. So if I go into render settings, and I actually set this hair radius down to a flat setup. So basically, we're just looking at the hair without any taper at all. And then I'm just gonna increase that overall radius. When I render this out, what you're gonna see is we actually start to get a slightly different color here at the end. You know what, I'm gonna change this over to a red. And you'll see that we get some of that green blending in. And that's because of the tiling along the WU coordinates. And this is something Max can kind of have a little bit of trouble with. So we're going to just set our tiling to 0.9. And what that's going to do is just get rid of that issue uh, at the end. This will be solid red all the way to the end. And that can be important. Uh, usually this is faded off towards these tips as we had here before. But... If we're not doing that, or if you haven't faded off and you haven't set up the tiling properly, you might get this little kind of white or different colored halo, which you know is something that you really don't want. So I can set this back here. Just go into presets and say ramp down. And now we'll have our hair nice and smooth all the way throughout. And I actually had a guide kind of like this. So right now I'm controlling this curve uh, using or controlling the radius of the hair using this curve and overall I'll bring that size down a bit. But if I wanted to let's say use a gradient to do that that would be something really easy for me to do. So I'm going to use something similar to this. Let me just uh, drop this gradient over here. I'll make it a copy and I'm going to control this with a thickness map. So I'll go into my hair radius set it to middle. So now the curve is not controlling this anymore or it's just a flat curve. Under my map, I'm gonna choose this gradient and because it's set to root 
from root to tip. I'll choose instance so any updates here will propagate over. It's going to use that. Now of course because I'm driving it with a value I want this to be a uh, black and white map. So we'll go in and change these colors so that they're black and white. So basically where it's black it's going to be uh, thinner. You can see there at the two ends and in the middle it's going to get thicker. And you can push this, you can animate this, whatever it is that you want to kind of do with it. And if you like to do this, you know, as opposed to maybe using some of the graphs, you can certainly do that um, because, you know, you maybe have a little bit more control over what it is that you want to do. Uh, maybe there are some places that would make this, you know, a little bit thicker, starting there. And you can really get a customized type of effect using a gradient that's, again, going from root to tip. Okay. You can see that we get that curve set up, even though we haven't set anything up here in our profile curve, we're using this gradient. So we can do this for a lot of other scenarios too. It's very helpful uh, all the way around. So actually I'll copy this off. And let's just paste it over here. We'll paste a copy. And inside here, uh, let's try and use this for our strand curling. So you can see we have a lot of curling kind of going on here. I might even get rid of uh, this little general swoop that I had going on with the edit guides below it. So here we're really just dealing with that curling. And I'll do something similar to what I did before. This is a nice way to kind of go in and really try and get an idea for what's happening. Uh, I'll set you know any one of these maps to solid, black and white, so I can know exactly what's getting controlled. And I'm going to take this map um, same map, I have the tiling set, the W set, and I'm going to drag it over to my magnitude. And you can see as I do that, we'll even get a little viewport update on the magnitude of that curling. So if, for instance, you really didn't want to have any curling at the root, and then you wanted to have uh, a little bit more somewhere else, so I'll set this back to linear now. So maybe I'll tweak that there so a little bit more curling in the middle and then maybe I'll bring this down for a little less curling at the ends then I can do exactly that with my root to tip map. I'll close this out turn on show end result I can probably turn on that edit guides now if I wish and we'll render that out. So there we have the root to tip coloring as well as a root to tip map that is controlling your render settings and a uh, root tip map in this case which is controlling curling so this can be used for uh, curling frizz all sorts of different uh, maps that you might need that use a black and white control map in order to uh, control maybe the thickness or the amount or something of that nature hopefully that helps you with your ornatric setups thank you very much